Our community matters. Residents of Usley and West Drayton gathered at the Usley Recreation Ground Bowls Hut, located behind Usley Library on Falling Lane, to protest closure of the bowling green to the public. Request for access to the hut and bowling green has been denied to the public, as the council have decided in private to take the hut away without consulting local residents. Information relating to development plans was made available to us only by invoking the Freedom of Information Act, and then typically following up with legal appeals. In the meantime the council continues to progress its aggressive development policy. I challenge them to release the unredacted report and to give a statement of why and how they have, it would seem on a prima facie basis, made a decision in advance of the council cabinet meeting where supposedly it would be decided. They've made a mockery of advance notification to the people in the same way that they ignore our petitions and needs. Local facilities for local people. Local facilities for local people. Local facilities for local people. My name's Peter Nurse and uh, and this is Sarah Miles, my wife. Thank you. My name is Graham. My name's Kate Quinn. Bob or Robert uh, Elliot. Hi, my name is Sita Devi Shukla. Hi, my name's Tracy. Hi, I'm Naomi and I'm a resident of Otterfield Road. And I've been a resident of Uselis for 36 years. And I've been living here for 38 years and things have changed so much, not all for the better. I've been a resident of uh, Otterfield Road since about 1984. 30. 45 years or 47 years. I've been a resident of Waterfield Road since 1981. Several years ago, Tesco's wanted to build on our lovely park. No, this whole area has a covenant as far as I understand. It was left uh, to the, the people of Usley and West Drayton as a recreational space. It's the idea of a covenant that is given to the uh, to the uh, people, uh, for the benefit of the people, as a gift. They're taking away the bowling green that's always looked beautiful. It's a nice peaceful place to go in amongst all this m madness and all, all, these, all this concrete. This is the only place that we've got that we can actually go to that it's peaceful. This bit of land is supposed to be for the people. The park has a covenant on it which is for public people, as does the swimming pool. In 1926, the approximately 8.25 acre parklands were sold to the council with the condition that the property use will remain as public walks and pleasure grounds. Around 1998, the council tried to sell Usley Recreation Ground to Tesco, and residents objected, with 7,000 resident objection signatures presented to the government, thus stopping any council commercial notions. Today, 20 years later, the commercial land grab is happening again. We're part of the group that uh, got rid of Tesco from oh, that was taking difficult. over the park. The community all got together to fight the council. It took us nearly three years and a lot of hard work for them to actually say no and they, they we saved the park. We had 7,000 people who didn't want Tesco's to take over the park land. Tesco's wanted to build on, on the park behind us. I was involved in that 20 years ago. Um, they, they were going to chop down the trees, they were going to build, obviously, because there was a nice lot of money in it for, for whoever. Uh, the people won that one, which is, is brilliant. Um, and, uh, you know, again, we're up against it all the time. You've got, to, you've got to fight, and it's ours. We shouldn't have to fight for it. And we shouldn't have to keep fighting the council. There's a covenant on the land saying it's public property. Why do we then have to keep coming back again and arguing with them? It is terribly unfair. As far as I can tell, the only two covenants that have been overturned in this borough in the last so many years have both been in Usley. Here we are again. Yeah. Quite frankly, we don't feel like doing it all over again <laughs> because we're 20 years older. Yes. But it seems as if we have to get together and do something about it. It doesn't belong to the council. Several times the council have tried to make this park their own. It will never belong to them. They maintain it. Bring back our facilities, including a swimming pool. We want our swimming pool Give back. It back. Give it back. Give it back. We want our swimming pool back. There is nothing here for the kids in Usley. And if we lose that area to 72 flats, surely then they're going to go back onto the park, which is, I believe is a Greenbelt area. 
So we're asking everybody to just come along and help volunteer so we can get our pool back and we'll have some more facilities for the children in this area because at the moment there's nothing. What are they going to do? They need something to occupy them, isn't it? Otherwise the crime rate will just go up because people have nothing else to do, will they? Hello, my name's Spike and I used to live in West Drayton. I lived here for five years and now it's sad to see what's happening to it. There used to be a pool which I used to swim in. I've swum in it a few times since I moved away. I still live very close. And apparently somebody's riding roughshod over the law and common decency and everything and they've torn down the pool, filled in the pool and they're doing the same with the bowling green, it's rumoured. And all for what? For private profit. It's supposed to be for the people. No, it's not for the people. It's for one or two other people. What can we say? Hands off our hut! Hands off our hut! Hands off our hut! Please spread this information. Make your voices heard all over social media. To save Usley and West Drayton we need to be very loud for the upcoming council elections.